Hi and welcome to my new video. Today we'll focus on an Apache Spark feature which is called observation. So in a nutshell, observation is a way that you, uh, to listen what happens with your data set. It's different than listeners because you can really apply some logic. Obviously, for now it's a bit limited to the aggregations, but still you can apply some kind of business logic or metrics and get metrics from your input data. So let me show you now how to implement this feature. And of course, if you want to discover other details of observation in Apache Spark, I invite you to the article, which is linked just below in the description of this video. So I prepared two examples. The first example uses the listeners to get the observation metrics. And the second one uses a more high level API, more direct access. And I will show you both of them and compare a bit uh, these two different workflows that will give me the same results, of course. So the first solution uses the listeners and the listener he uses the on success callback to get all the observations I defined before uh, executing the data set. And to define your observation is quite simple. You define an object with an observation name and later you just call observe method of the data set that accepts as parameter your observation and also the aggregation functions that you want to apply on top of your input data set. So of course for me it's a very simple example with only one column with the number and I want to know the total number of rows and the max number in my data set. So let me run this code first and later I will maybe show you a bit the internal details that are also present in the blog post, by the way. But to just to complete the picture, I will do it also here. The code is running and it terminates correctly. It finishes correctly and you can see that the number of rows is 100 as expected and the max number is 99. So how does it work under the hood? Under the hood, when you call observe, Apache Spark, of course, we will first verify whether there is no, the query is not a streaming one, and later create a logical node, which is called collect metrics. This collect metrics will be transformed later by the physical executor, physical execution to the collect metrics exec node. And this is just a wrapper around the input data set that adds this accumulation logic on top of each row. And you can see just here. In the do execute method, we first initialize the collector, which is the accumulator, aggregating accumulator. And later we pass it, its copy to each task, so to each input partition. Each task starts by reinitializing this collector and updating the, the state by applying the aggregations you have defined. And just after applying these aggregations, the input row is returned as usual. And in the end, the collector will transform uh, this aggregation. Of course, it's an accumulator, so when you call the final value, uh, our Spark will call the value method of the accumulator and transform it to the final value on the driver by taking the data from the executors and in my case printing to, to my screen. So that's the first uh, very simplified and short demo of the usage of observation with listeners and the second demo is even simpler because it uses more high level API that doesn't require to write the listeners. Because as you can see, I'm defining the observation once again, as previously, but now instead of adding, registering a new listener, I'm simply calling the get method for this observation. And this get method call retrieves new metrics that are an option in my uh, in the query plan and you can see here that we are generating these metrics exactly from this 
observed matrix object that I used just before with my listen in my listeners example. So to show you that I'm not lying and the result is the same, I will just run the code and assert that the we still have 100 rows and the max number is 99. So it was a very short demo, but if you want to discover other details of this feature, I invite you to the article which is linked just below in the description of this video. In the meantime, I invite you to also to discover other blog posts about Apache Spark and cloud data engineering on waitingforcode.com. It was Bartosz Konieczny from waitingforcode.com. Thanks for watching.